welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel putting up the pompons in this video we are doing three simple and easy ponytail hairstyles for the girls for this past week ponytails are definitely an easy go-to especially for a busy mom like myself so in this video i'm going to show you three ways just to spice it up and give it a little bit more pizzazz for a regular regular ponytail for the week let's get into it so of course, let me not forget to invite you to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. Come join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, hope you are being safe and blessed as always always i'm going to keep my talking to a minimum in this video because i am recovering from a cold y'all okay that pollen my sinuses are whooping my ass i cannot breathe over here okay so if i sound like really nasally and congested it's because i'm suffering i am suffering over here okay so they issued me some antibiotics and all that good stuff um Sudafed, you know like honey it's a struggle North Carolina's pollen has got to be like out of this world. I swear there's no place like this when it comes to the pollen here. Oh my gosh, I'm, you literally are choking on pollen when you walk outside. But <clears throat> that's off subject. I just kind of wanted to explain where your girl been because I did not post last week. And um, it was because of that. I, I couldn't talk. My energy was drained because I, I could barely breathe. I didn't feel like doing the girl's hair. I was half-assing like everything. So matter of fact, this hairstyle that I'm doing on Kaylani right here, I had to re-record it because I never finished it. So that's why it doesn't really have a proper introduction in the beginning of the video because I was hurting. I, I even forgot to take pictures. That's how bad it was. Like it, it completely derailed all of my pro productivity for like the past two weeks being sick like this. So I'm trying to get back on the wagon, you know, um, because yeah, I, I, everything was dwindling down. I was, you know, doing pretty good keeping up with my Instagram stuff, which I feel like Instagram's a whole lot easier to navigate as far as like getting uh, followers and <clears throat> you know getting out there and spreading the word on my hairstyles that I do for the girls and myself um I'm still struggling on this YouTube platform I don't know why I just cannot figure it out I haven't cracked the code for this algorithm but I feel like my Instagram I'm doing good but we did reopen our Facebook we created a Facebook page because I have a lot of followers who don't have Instagram and I did not realize that when I closed my Facebook page that kind of like derailed a lot of my you know older followers on here who like to follow me for my hairstyle so i apologize for that so if you want to look up our facebook page it's putting up with the pompons the same as our youtube channel and i post you know most of my pictures quick little short videos and reels and stuff like that um and just like small updates on me and the girls and i you know just want to give y'all update on where i've been <laughs> so anyways <clears throat> now that i've updated you on what's going on with me let's get back to the tutorial so here i have my youngest baby girl Callista. so i re -wet her hair just using some regular degular water and we are doing another ponytail hairstyle of course um the girls always ask for ponytails whenever i ask you know what y'all want done to your hair today and they always come up with ponytails probably because they think it's going to take me like five minutes and they'll be you know going back to their roblox and watching their youtube channels and all that good stuff but I was like, you know what? Since y'all want ponytails, I'm gonna I'm gonna do ponytails, but we're gonna make it cute, okay? So going in with my holy grail gel, the shine effects conditioning gel. My goodness, I'm sorry, my brain kind of lost it there. I love this gel. I use it on the girls' edges as well as their parts to get those nice clean parts. And it also helps with flyaways, which the girls experience a lot of that. So I have these two rows and I'm sectioning off this small little square right in the front and I'm gonna twist it up and then we're gonna connect that to the back. But this time I'm not doing like multiple smaller squares. I decided to keep this long rectangle one um, because Boo just, she, she just wasn't having it today. So I try to keep it simple as possible. And I'm just taking that twist and connecting it to the back. We're not gonna do this in the center or in the front. We're gonna connect this to the back of that uh, piece right there. 
using my colorful rubber bands so of course all of our products and our hair accessories all that good stuff you can shop through our amazon storefront which is located in our description box click that link and look for a pom-pom sisters hair care or you can shop the photos i also post these photos of the girls so you can see what products i use as well as the hair accessories if they came off of amazon i have those available for you to just click and purchase super easy i was debating whether or not to keep it ponytail or put it in a bun but i remember it we're doing a ponytail tutorial so to style the girls ponytails i go in with a cream moisturizer for boo in this one i am going to be using the aunt jackie's baby curl and this is like a butter whip kind of cream not too heavy but it gives her hair a nice soft shine and moisturizes those ends and then i'm going in with this boar brush i recently picked up this brush off of amazon i saw it when a girl was doing like the curly girl method to get her curls popping and look at those curls look how defined and like cute they are this I love that brush okay that brush has became my new bestie I added these lollipop clips thought those were adorable now we're gonna move on to Kehlani one more time and as you see honey child is looking tired okay very much mommy I don't want to be here very much can you hurry this up so I can go play Roblox, okay? Going in with some water, um, the hairstyle that she had from the previous, you know, clip. Yeah, she wore that for probably about five days because, again, I, I got sick around that time. So, homegirl was, you know, she was rough at school for the past couple of days. So, I'm going in with my gel and some water to clean up those parts. And I decided I wanted to do like a braid going across the front of her hair to kind of create like this little crown braid so i'm going in with the auntie jackie's baby curls to soften up her hair and re-moisturize and oh my god it did wonders on her curls i was like dang i need to use this stuff more often you know those products that you have and you forget about and you pull them out you're like dang i used to like this why well, don't use it i do that all the freaking time so i'm creating these small sections and i'm rubber banding them off with our colorful elastic rubber bands now okay I decided to kind of play around with it. I didn't want to do a regular connect the dots with it. So what I'm doing is taking that first square right there. Yeah, I'm doing a little football teaser for y'all. I'm going to connect that to uh, the third um, little square, connect the dot, okay? We're not going to connect it to the second one. We're connected to the third one. But we're going to split it in half and make it go around the second connect the dot. And then secure it with an elastic band, right? Okay, you're following me. Great. You're going to do that throughout the entire braid. And it's supposed to create like... I, I don't know what they call it, but it looks cute. I see it all the time on Pinterest and stuff. So now we're taking that second one and we're kind of going to connect it with the fourth one, as you see that I'm doing right there. But we're going to make sure we split it in half and make it go around the third connect the dot, right? Okay, so you're kind of like, you know, playing jump frog with the the little ponytails but it, it'll look cute in the end so now it's time to work with the back of her hair i'm going in with some more moisturizing cream because i had to go in and do a detangling because baby girl her hair was it was matted okay going two days without brushing boo or lonnie's hair i end up with a lot of knots and matted and i get mom guilt because i'm like oh my god i'm like the shittiest mom ever for not brushing my kids hair but i was sick and i need to learn to give myself that kind of leeway like it's okay babe it's okay we are here now let's breathe through this and get through it so i secured all that into one low ponytail and now i'm bringing out that boar bristle brush one more time i'm detangling real quick to make sure we don't have no knots because we do not want to create curls with some knotty hair that ain't cute so taking small sections out of the ponytail i'm smoothing it out with that boar bristle brush and then i kind of like twirl it around my finger finger to create this little spiral and it's going to dry just like that and then the next morning i might separate it most of the time i leave it clumped up because they're very active children by the time the second or third day comes around the ponytail has fluffed out on its own anyway i'm styling baby girl's edges real quick of course and then she is done that is going to be it for this look all right i know i said i wasn't going to talk and i ended up talking but it's okay because i missed y'all i need to talk about hair it was just building up in me anyways thank you guys for joining us on another tutorial don't forget to hit that like button and comment down below some more styles you would love to see here on our channel we will see y'all on another one be blessed and be safe